why do organisms take food? Yakapa organisms beku ahara. All organisms require energy for their life process. Plants prepare their food and acquire nutrients from abiotic components. You know, biotic components of abiotic and non living things. Biotic and reno living things. Jote jote ke, the terms you should remember. On the other hand, animals need to get food from either plants or other animals to obtain nutrients. Hence, animals need to be take food to acquire nutrients and energy. Distinguish between parasite and saprophyte. No, no, no. Parasites are saprophyte. Good difference. We are saprophytes. Saprophytes acquire nutrients from dead and decay matter. No? Example, fungi. Anabigudo. Anabigudo. The good example for saprophytes. Parasites live on or in host and get its food at the, the expense of its host. Example, round worm, tape worm. Whatever I get a curd, the curd in a nikila. Rohita gentula on Tituala, Avena Ibuna, parasites and the Now, autotrophic nutrition in plants regarding the photosynthesis, what we have done already. The photosynthesis concept is already over now. Autotrophs and heterotrophs. Autotrophs are organisms that use light energy from the sun to provide food, also called producers. Examples plants, blue green algae, are some prokaryotic cells. Heterotrophs organisms that obtain energy from the foods they consume, also called consumers. Animals, fungus, some prokaryotes and proteins. Examples, these are the important. Question number five, what are autotrophs? Give example. Question number six, what are heterotrophs? Give examples. Questions in the Kelta Jerapa, here are question and answer. So, Nini Barkobe, Kubari Kale, Kale, or La Kale, Baria de Le Vodu Vavana, Bariga de Lina de Yu Vavana, Amange, Agbadu, Niva Chikatagi, and the method of study and Titale. You please try to follow the method of study. Whenever you Open the YouTubes, take a pencil or a pen, a notebook, go on, study yourself. That is called self study. Self efforts are the best studies. Now, question number six What are the conditions necessary for photosynthesis? Sunlight, water, carbon dioxide, chlorophyll. What are the steps in photosynthesis? Absorption of energy from sunlight, conversion of light energy into chemical energy, hydrolysis of water into oxygen and hydrogen, carbon dioxide is reduced to form glucose by utilizing chemical energy. Well friends, what are the conditions necessary for photosynthesis we are discussed. Now, what are the important things nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, etc. are very essential nutrients, makes the nutrient food that is nutrition in plants this is uh, micro level magnesium sulfur calcium which are important in the nutrition in plants micronutrients like boron iron manganese manganese sources copper etc are also very important in the study of nutrition in plants 